Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to check out a port of the Sense 6 firmware from the H2C1 M8. Now this soft mod comes courtesy of XTA member Galaxy user, so big thanks to him for making this possible. There's a link to an article in the description below this video, and if you hit that up, you'll find all the downloads you'll need and a step-by-step -step guide on how to get this going. But here we'll give you a quick little walkthrough so that you can see what all the fuss is about. And I'll even show you how to get it installed in the first place. So presuming you've already checked out the article and got the files downloaded, I'll start from TWRP Recovery. Now this should go without saying, but before you flash anything in recovery, you should always make a backup of your existing setup. And that's definitely needed in this case, because before you get started, you'll need to perform a full wipe of the data, cache, Dalvik, and system partitions. With that disclaimer out of the way, we'll just tap Install, and then find the main ROM file. There's two files we need to flash here, the ROM and some patches, so be careful to pick the right one. The one that we should flash first is named NextSense Alpha. So hit that, and then you can swipe this slider at the bottom to get it installed. This ROM comes with a Roma installer, so there's a nice little GUI that guides you through the process. Select English as your language, hit Next, tick I agree with these terms, then hit Next a few more times. The ROM takes a few minutes to install, so I'm going to hit pause here and then resume recording when it's done. When it finishes, make sure to only hit next once. We don't want it to auto reboot just yet, so from here hit the power button, tap quit installation, and then yes. Alright, so that part's done, but now we've got to install the patch files to fix a few things in the ROM. So don't reboot just yet, back out one level, and then find the next sense path file which I'm pretty sure is a typo and should say patch instead of path. But flash that just like we did with the ROM file, and this one really shouldn't take that long at all. When that's done, you can hit Reboot System, and the first time you boot this ROM up, it's going to take a few minutes, so don't freak out when startup doesn't happen as quickly as usual. And I've already got it installed over here in my personal Nexus, so we can check it out now instead of waiting on the other one to boot up and go through all that initial setup stuff. Now this is truly Sense 6, not some piecemeal workaround or something, so you get everything that the all-new HTC One has. Sound and camera don't work though, so this is definitely not a daily driver at the moment. But Galaxy user and all the other devs over at XDA have made big strides already in just the last couple of weeks. It went from hardly any hardware sensors working to almost complete in virtually no time, so we can expect or certainly hope that these last couple of kinks get ironed out shortly. But you do get the Blink Feed Launcher in all its glory. I did a write-up on that in a video, actually, about a couple weeks back, so check that out for more info on this aspect of Sense 6. And of course you get a gorgeous home screen widget, that's one thing Sense has always been good about. The weather part has a great UI as well. And the Resense menu is a bit different than stock Android. They went with this grid view rather than the vertical scrolling, which is pretty cool. And the notification tray is pretty similar, as well as the quick settings tiles. But settings looks a lot different, though. One cool thing in here I wanted to show you was this personalized section. You can actually theme the interface here. For those of you familiar with the CyanogenMod theme chooser, if I'm not mistaken, they actually got the basis for that from HTC Sense. So HTC's been doing this for a while now, and they fine-tuned it a bit in Sense 6. You can see that if you pick a theme, the accent colors will change across the board. Blink feed looks different, and even other stock apps get changed. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous that we don't have something like this on stock Android. But again, to get all of this set up, be sure to hit the link to the article in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.